Emma is a trickster. Yeah. I don't think she's a mage. I think she's a trickster. This is the advanced guide that assumes you know basics and such. If you don't, here you go. Video. Top link in the description. Made by Simply Perry, who is also the sponsor of this video. And made sure this isn't a bunch of head ass. Very nice and patient. Back when I started playing the game, he tolerated my fucking stupidity. Back when I basically fucking asked if you get EXP from killing stuff and had <laughs> Crystal Tiara on Emma, because I don't know, max HSP scales with passive. Listen, man, I'm just saying. Anyone can go fucking anywhere. It may be like 1,900 hours later, but like, this is a fucking symbol of hope, dude. Anyway, back to the match. Emma's role is special, I think. I think she's a damage dealer with a degree of survivability and endurance, making her a good choice in a team with no strong front line, but you still need some range or such. Definitely a very high contender for solo queuing. As you're very, like, independent and can kind of just do anything. I'd like to start with augments and builds. Keep in mind, these can be outdated, so this will be quip and can't be skipped. So firstly, healing factor is the best augment. What you just heard was... Logic. As for weapon, uh, right now, Shuriken is like literally the best one. I actually could not believe this myself, I had to go look in game. Shuriken has better skill amp scaling than Arcana, and it obviously has the better weapon skill. The only thing Arcana has is like 0.5% more attack speed per level. Yeah, that's fucking great. Stupid fucking... Okay, what kind of stuff is she good at? Well, I mean, she has literally every kind of CC. She's effective at all ranges, self-independent. I'd say she scales pretty goddamn good. I'd say her weaknesses are probably the... Oh, she has pretty long startup on moves. She has slow projectile speeds and generally does a lot of hard aiming required. Secondly, Ultimate and passive do not scale with cooldown reduction. Third, mobility is limited by setup. General role, the trickster. You should be able to trust the trickster on whatever mission they're about to do. Calculating ways to live, deal with barrages by smoke and mirrors, or plain just being able to adapt to every range. Peel, poke. Blade of Truth aggro. Though you may have to put more effort into your damage, it's balanced out. And if you fuck up, it's okay. Because again, not only is it a learning process, but you can bail out more easily. Just general tips is that you want to queue mobs, because then you're indirectly doing your two-step setup for if someone comes by within the next 15 seconds. This also goes with how your mobility is limited to your spell setups. So as advised, please stay in the remote area of your spells. W has a half second startup lag, so hitting one of your CCs first can be recommended, but not mandatory. Even though RW is so fucking good, you don't have to hold on to W. Just, just use it. E is your magnum opus. Finale seal to anyone who dares to interact in your vicinity. You use this to nullify someone who could be potential danger. Jackie or Ava ulting. Or just to secure someone's inevitable death. I would recommend using this on mobile characters. Or carries. As long as her kit is fundamentally the same, I would highly recommend maxing E last because the passive SP consumed to healing stat is indirectly buffed when you upgrade stuff like Q, W, 
because you're upgrading the cost of the spell, unless you're just like a fan of polymorphing someone. Else, when it comes to positioning, you're gonna be running around a lot, trying to get a setup, using said ability to stay safe and neutral to not get fucked up. So if you land an E or a Q, that's good. If you miss, not a big deal. You've indirectly set up so that you're safe. Else than that, it's pretty much the standard issue damage dealer positioning, where you have to imagine yourself a danger zone between you and then who's the biggest threat on the enemy team. Else for the rest of this video, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and just like show a bunch of combos, just tech, as well as a lot of interesting W teleport wall spots.